talked about all the design and engineering that goes into it. It's not the most glamorous part of the job. Nobody notices it. But all the calculations that go into wind speeds, snow loads, all the uplift, holding the building structure, a lot of time and energy is spent into here. Uh, these bolts get embedded as they're pouring. So when they come to a column spot, they have this all set in there. We have to walk under the steel. Reference this will be the main entrance for the elementary, and this is the pre K kindergarten. Way. So we're standing kind of at the west end of the commons area lunchroom in the elementary.
has kind of a look of a foundation wall with the outside of the back. That's something we can look into um, some of the funds if if there needs to be fencing. There's fencing around the pond, but if we need to fence around the playground, the kids are still wandering over there. But there there is a fence around the pond. So. So let's try and go through the media is the most exciting. Um, and the offices. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's cool. So a lot of engineering kind of goes into some of the, the doorways during demo. So this is called shoring. So they, they got these beams engineered, and then they're able to shore it up, and they put the, stru the new structure in doorways where there was not doorways before. Um, we won't walk on the tour all the way back to the next door over, but we're basically doing the same same deal. And I, I believe these two doors are getting replaced for um, an ADA, just bringing it up to code. So there'll be two new door frames on the two. This is the science lab, and then that was the room that was um, 
with an alternate to keep to convert it into a science lab, but that'll actually become just a regular classroom. There was a science lab before. So um, basically on this side, that is all that's being done um, to these two rooms, other than flooring and ceiling. Um, and I believe this one. So if we go around to the media. start getting put back together. So if you're wondering how the heck kids are going to be in here in the uh, middle of August, it'll happen. It's actually going really well. So how many people are working on site on average every day? Um, it varies depending on like, like Dunnex will have their site utility crew coming in, but I would say 40 to 50. And um, like now the demo crew will be finishing up, but then we'll start getting some of the finishes in ceiling knives, and, uh, framers, the regular um, steel stud and drywall. They're mobilizing this week. Um, obviously, we have the precasters back. The concrete guys aren't going anywhere. So yeah, pretty soon we'll be ramped up probably to 60 guys, so like the girls. So, um, it's getting pretty busy. <laughs> Yeah. You remember all the computers? Yeah. Yep. So, uh, everyone talks about materials and worrying about stuff. We we got all our door frames on site for this summer. Our window frames. So if you hear some jobs, they're still wondering where their frames are. We have ours here, so you can kind of rest assured on that. Uh, Here's where you'll have one of those operable walls between these two columns, and then there'll be a window here and a window here. So if you need to open up the whole media area with those glass doors, that'll be there. Um, we kind of have the computer lab will go now from kind of in this area. You'll have your computer stations rather than along the wall. Um, it'll just the, the instructors can. Instead of the kids staring at the walls like they were, it'll just be more open and easier to teach. Um, here is the doorway back to a smaller room. Now, we have the same thing going on with the beam. This beam will go in tomorrow. And it's the same thing that's going on there. It becomes a classroom. Tiny weird bathrooms with like the, the little entryway. That's all gone. So now you'll have the, the regular ADA bathrooms on each side. And 
And then here's the wall out into, so that's a temporary wall that you see out there. This is a, this is a lot of two big windows coming into the media center. So this will be the media center uh, and that temporary wall. We'll, we'll head out that way. Actually, let's go that way then we can hit the administration. Be the most surprising spot of the renovation. So we'll go through here, Jesse. Yep. I'm just letting you go first. Okay. Just be careful. Don't trip on anything. Up to your right. I think they popped a hole in there today. Yeah, yep, so that'll be your secure entrance where you come in and then you'll come into the office area, the new office area over here. And then this will all be kind of storefront glass entrance. So as you can see like the block walls are getting ready to be put up. Um, if you come over here and look down here, it's kind of amazing. Just how far that was. So that was uh, Jim Jim's office, and Jim is being so heated up Yeah, <laughs> which was just just kind of gives you perspective. So that'll be the new um, kind of flex room, boardroom, extra classroom will be on the end there, and then all the offices start getting put into place, working their way down here. Uh, what did Scott say to be like? Is there a break room with an actual sink? So you'll have, you know, we have to use that, the nurse's office bathroom. Um, there will actually be full bathrooms over here. That would be existing nurse's office bathroom plumbing. So that will all get moved over to this. And it will just be a much more kind of open space, I guess you'll say. But I just thought this was pretty cool. And you guys have your yeah, still painted on the wall. And then this way, the, uh, the office will have two desks, kind of reception desks. So see that hole? That'll be the door. And then, um, then we can look at the floor layout. These drawings don't really show up real well, but if you want to see the layout again when we get back into the uh, trailer, we can kind of go through so you can envision it a little more. But that, do we need to go into like the back I, lab and I stuff? Think we should. Yeah.
the big fan going, but uh, there's kind of four workstations for the fax lab, and you can kind of pop your head in there if you want to go in there and look. But you can see kind of how the renovation, you got to sock up the floor to get all that stations. Uh, but it, it's going to be a pretty, pretty nice room that you will have uh, the center island to teach off of. Just simply putting a mop sink somewhere, 
you really got to tear up the floor and get drains and all that stuff. So. The renovation is the funnest part. Unfortunately, it's the shortest calendar because you got to just the summer. Center. I showed you the one they got in today, so at least they have a plan on how to get it into the area. Right. Other than that, work starts. This will be the theater out here, and that'll start getting torn up probably, I think, next week. So. And like I said, our goal is to get, get everything kind of cold for heating wise before it gets really cold. So we're thinking precast maybe November, <laughs> hopefully before like January and it gets really cold because that'll be a good space to keep. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot. 